day. Leap day. Getting into the gym for bulk, for flex, for low game, maybe some animal flow, hybrid training. You know how we do. We got the whole menu. Sometimes we get greedy and sometimes we just barely make it. <laughs> I'm feeling quite positive about the workout today. They got the Smith machine repaired, tightened up, so we can maybe get back to the leg press. I want to do the leg press a little differently so that I don't have to put so much weight on there. We might get into some lunges. We definitely have to get back to what I called the must-dos that I haven't gotten done in the last couple of visits. Maybe it's just one visit. Maybe I'm just exaggerating. Uh, so, guess what guys? Tomorrow, Noxoma Life Camp officially begins. It's about life enhancement. It's about taking myself, this vessel, the Bod, the Spirit, Mind, the Trinity, to the next level of enhanced living and existing. And it's basically for me, but I put out the ideas for anybody who wants to follow along and enhance their lives. The, uh, I guess the practices that have enhanced my life are fairly universal, but they are not guaranteed to work for everybody. Although 99.9% .9 is a pretty good population for those it works for. We're going to get in the gym, get our thing done, and report back to you guys right after this inspirational message. The Jimmy Jam is real life fitness, baby. No gizmos, no gadgets, no injections, no implants, no games, no contests. Apocalypse year fitness. The Jimmy Jam is real life fitness. It's a real life struggle, baby. Picking up heavy weights and putting them down. The Jimmy Jam is real life fitness. Apocalypse year fitness. Every day is another struggle, Apocalypse and the struggle is real, so we embrace it. The Jimmy Jam is real life fitness. We embrace it. It's the Thor's Day mixtape. Yeah, that's the ticket. That's the mix. Like I was talking about, different genres of music you have in your collection. Very similar. And I would start off a set with deep house music. So we'll say that the deep house is the bulking. We started with the leg press. I thought the machine was repaired, but it was not. It's, it's a loose screw is what it is. Here's the list. Uh, so I can't put as much weight on there as I usually do which is right on time because I've been looking for a reason not to put as much weight on there so I could do different leg positions. The theme of the day was push-ups and chest work. We did a variety of different push-ups including suspension push-ups and check this out we even did archer push-ups. I haven't been able to do archer push-ups in quite a number of years because of my shoulder being sore. But I got a set of 10 in. 10 all together, not 10 on each side. So we got the low game work in. We got chest work from the floor in a bridge position. We got the reverses in. We actually did reverse grip, easy bar, preacher curls. And since it's the first time we're doing it, maybe in, I don't know, quarter century, we had to find the weight. 
So we did that. Then we went in to the uh, to the dance room and got a little bit of animal flow in. And I'll be talking about animal flow a little later in the series. And finished up with a headstand. Okay, head on the floor, hands on the floor, feet in the air with the wall behind me. Feeling a little bit more comfortable about being upside down and going to have to increase the strength in this upper body area so that we can do a proper handstand and maybe handstand push-ups. Speaking of which, we balanced on the dumbbells too. So that's a wrap. A really good leap day, Thor's day. Uh, not a lot of wind to deal with today. Grateful for that as well. Grateful for your eyeballs and your thumbs up. Any questions, write in the comments. Appreciate you guys. As always, see you next workout.